So before this video starts, I have to unpack a few things and just set the groundwork for what you're about to watch. Two weeks ago, I did have the privilege of meeting President Donald Trump in Mar-a-Lago. God opened up a door for me, and it was incredible, unforgettable, and there were some golden gems, amazing stories, and lessons that came out of it that are priceless that God gave me the next couple of days. That information, though, it's in the middle of this video that you're about to watch. So watch this video in its entirety, even though the starting of this and most of this video has to do with crypto, that awesome testimony is in the middle of it. So thank you, and here we go. My name is Philip Paul. And 11 weeks ago, I decided to take $3,500 and show everyone that's in my Patreon, hey, look, even though you're starting late in cryptocurrency, there are still massive gains to be had this bull run. But given that we're starting late, we have to be methodical, surgical, and I have to take my time of prayer, fasting, and walk with Jesus Christ seriously so that I can invest very well. Here we are today, 11 weeks later, the portfolio is up about 50% from that initial uh, $3,500. And I haven't posted much over the last couple of weeks for a few reasons that I want to get into right now. Number one, God hasn't spoken to me too much in the last 20 days about what's going to happen with crypto. And I have some thoughts as to why that I'll get into in just a minute. Secondly, we have had a lot of friends and family visiting. And thirdly, I came down with a pretty bad cough. Um, so I've been fighting a little bit of a sickness here. Thankfully, I'm on medication now. And um, so this is going to be the first video that I've made in a while. I hope it goes well. I will jump right into one of the most recent posts that I made, which was in March 15th. Uh, I told everyone that I'm going to be traveling, and then I went into a little bit of a, just a mindset type of discussion here. Healthy and sustainable growth requires corrections. I am not phased by this recent sell-off or cooling off period that we're entering into at all. If you cannot ride the dips, then you don't deserve the gains. If you can't stomach a 20% dip, you don't deserve a 2,000% increase. That's kind of the essence of that one. Nothing that I say is financial advice. I go on to say that successful investing is about 10% decision making and 90% waiting. I'm not a day trader. I'm more of a swing trader. Buy the bear, sell the bull, ride out the dips along the way. Going up to March 19th, I added Live Peer LPT to the Patreon portfolio. Again, if you are at all interested in getting this information sooner and quicker, you can check it out in the description below. You can get in as low as like two or $3 a month. So I go on to say that I've had a very busy couple of weeks. Uh, I have added live peer to the portfolio. God showed me this coin very clearly in the bear market and I should have bought it sooner. That being said, in short one morning, I heard it in prayer very clearly. That same day I saw like a dozen license plates that had LPT on it and I knew that God was specifically confirming that for me. When I hear from the Lord, it's often in two forms. One is the audible rhema word of God and sometimes... That's okay. So that's like hearing God's voice. And the other is discerning God's voice. Like as I'm going about my day to day, things will pop out. I'll notice things and I can discern God's voice throughout my day. Above all, the word of God, you know, spending time in the Bible, that's the most clear, crystal clear way to hear for God's voice and everything should line up with the Bible. March 21st, this morning while catching up on some very needed rest, I had two impressions or short dreams where I felt led and instructed to add a little bit of Ethereum to the Patreon portfolio. Now, this might sound like a no-brainer to everyone, but I've specifically been staying away from Ethereum. I think there's much better um, opportunities elsewhere. But I felt led to do so, and I felt led to make sure that it was just a small amount. So there was only like 43 bucks left in cash at the time, and I added Ethereum to the Patreon portfolio. March 23rd. Sometimes when it rains, it pours, but the last couple of days, I haven't received anything prophetically. We are simply in a hold or hodl phase. Hold on for dear life. Good investing, again, is 10% decision-making, 90% patience. Not financial advice, but we are simply entering into the holding phase. During this time, I met a very powerful world figure, one of the most famous people on earth. You would know exactly who he is. Um... <clears throat> The title of this video is not clickbait. Through a very bizarre series of events and good friendships and supernatural God opening up the doors, I had the distinct privilege of meeting President Donald Trump. This was a couple weeks ago. I won't go into the details of how it all came about, how I was invited to Mar-a-Lago, and how he... Well, I'll share this part. He walks up to our table at one point and goes, now this, <clears throat> this looks like the table I'd like to be a part of. And it was really funny. Uh, he gave my friend a handshake. I got a pat on the back. Um, and then I was kind of an awestruck for the next day or two that I had the encounter of meeting Donald Trump. 
Now, I didn't get to introduce myself to him. I didn't get to talk that much. But to see this man right in front of me and the gravitas that he carries and to actually have the ability to kind of see into who he is a little bit more of a person. Number one, I was actually astonished at the quality of the caliber that he really is. Um, But number two, over the next couple of days, this is kind of what God began to show me as I was starstruck. It was like when I was hanging out with Jesus, he began to say to me, Phil, you just had this tangible experience of what it's like to be in the power or in the presence of someone very powerful. You have that in me already. I am the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I am the Alpha and the Omega. I hold the universe in the palm of my hand. I raise up kings and I lower kings. The hearts of men are like water in my hands that I lead and direct wherever they may go. So as I'm meditating upon that, I kind of had to repent a little bit and say like, God, I am sorry for not valuing you enough. I am sorry for not valuing my relationship and companionship that I have with you already enough. So I say this to say, many of us, we know that Jesus is our savior. We know that we can pray to him. We know that we can complain to him. We know that we can just go to him. But sometimes we fail to recognize the power that he has, that he is a king, that he is living and active, that he was not just a historical figure, but that he is alive today and he is all powerful, almighty, and he died for you because that's the type of leader that he is. So I say that to say, maybe you're like me where you hear the story and it brings a little bit more of a tangible presence to your walk with God to where you can acknowledge that you have something way better than a friendship with a powerful man on earth. You have something way more real than, oh, I met a famous celebrity one time. You actually have best friendship with the author of love, who is the almighty, most powerful person ever. So that's the Trump snippet of meeting him, but more importantly, meeting Christ in a deeper way than I had ever met him before. So I hope that helps you out. So, Sometimes we hear these stories of like, wow, I'd like to meet this famous person. Or wow, you met that person. That's so cool. And Jesus was just lifting the veil to say, Phil, when you know me, when you have me, you have it all already. If you don't know Jesus, you're missing out. And you should probably say like, hey, Jesus, I don't know if you're real. I hope you're real. Can you just like introduce yourself to me if you are? I'd encourage you to pray that prayer. So God has been speaking to me. This was three days ago. God has been speaking to me in personal ways over the last couple of weeks, but they're not really worth publicly sharing. I did receive one crypto thing, but I felt like God very clearly told me to keep it to myself. So I haven't posted that one, not going to. That same morning, three days ago, I heard something very clear while waking up in the morning about Electronium, ETN. I do not remember the dream or vision that I had about it in detail. And by the way, Electronium is very difficult to get if you're not from the UK. Um, I actually don't have any Electronium. God has spoken to me about this coin before, but it's been months. This has not been on my radar at all. And I have heard other trustworthy Christians also be spoken to about Electronium in the past, but there's something about this where um, it might take a while to play out, but I just made a note here that like Electronium on the horizon, this might be a good time to start opening up your position and getting ready for that horse to run whenever it does. So something about that. And as I always say, take everything that I say, back to the Lord in prayer. You know, I was, I mean, a full disclosure here, like I was on cough medicine. So, you know, just, I'm just a dude on the internet. You need to be fully responsible for yourself. Enough of the disclaimers. Now I want to read to you today's post that I made about 10 minutes ago in the Patreon. Again, you can join for like two or three bucks in the description below if you would like to, but this is basically what I said. Hi everyone. Just wanted to give you an update and share my thoughts on many fronts. The Kraken balance is so-and-so. Um, we are up about 42% since starting the portfolio 11 weeks ago. Personally, I believe that the cooling off period that we are in and have been in for the last 20 days is very good. The total two market cap, which is basically everything in cryptocurrency, all of them combined except for Bitcoin, hence the number two. It's down approximately 14% on average over the last three weeks. These contractions, while they feel demoralizing or downtrodden or They really just make you test your patience a little bit. They're actually very good for the market as a whole, and they are necessary for the RSIs of all the cryptos to reset. RSIs are relative strength indexes. So the market as a whole had entered into an overbought territory a couple weeks back, meaning that investors were in general becoming very greedy. 
the growth could not be sustained, so a reset or cooling off was necessary. Again, you can't receive the 2,000% gains if you can't uh, ride out the 20% dips. Corrections and cooling off are very important. <laughs> Excuse me. All growth requires healthy rest and correction. From a port- I'm going to have to pause this and come back. I hope that that is the last of the coughing. So all growth requires healthy rest and correction. From a portfolio management position, this is also very good as the last three weeks have allowed the euphoria of the big gains and greed that people have in their mindsets to kind of be washed out. Investors, um, they get to mentally reset a little bit here during these cooling off periods. They get to put on a sense of humility again, and then you can properly manage and steward the next leg up with a level head once more once it arrives. So I've welcomed this correction. Is it difficult to see the portfolio drop 20%? Yes, of course. But God cares more about your heart than your bank account. He wants you to grow, but not grow to the point where you get inflated. He wants you to be able to sustain a level, humble uh, uh, demeanor while you experience growth. I go on to say here that the Bitcoin halving is just 17 days away. So every four years on the halving day, the amount of new Bitcoin that gets created gets cut in half. This means that when the Bitcoin halves, <clears throat> when the halving, sorry, when the halving event takes place, the rewards given to the contributors securing the network is reduced by 50%, directly impacting the rate at which new Bitcoins are introduced into circulation. Now, there's already a massive shortage of Bitcoins on markets. So the circulating supply of Bitcoin is very, very low at the moment. So um, the market is poised to do very well. If everything follows suit with Bitcoin, we are poised to do very well in the days ahead. And much of that just simply has to do with the basic laws of supply and demand. There is a supply shortage of Bitcoin available. Now, transitioning into me, my health, all that stuff, I've been fighting a nasty cough for about two weeks straight, largely due to the busyness and fatigue that set in a couple weeks back. We had many family members in town. I was traveling a lot. Um, so there's a lack of activity here on YouTube and in the Patreon. I praise God that he is not only a healer, that we live in a time where basic sicknesses that used to kill people are now very treatable. So I'm on antibiotics and I'm grateful for that. Though it goes without saying that you should always be careful what you take into your body in today's world. I have not been shown much in my times of prayer other than personal words in my own walk with Christ, which I'm keeping to myself as they relate to me, some of the shortcomings that I have, some of the areas of growth that God is inviting me into. Um, and he is my counselor, some of the things that he's been teaching me. So not a whole lot of crypto stuff in the last couple of weeks, more personal, but nevertheless, I hope that this helps you out. And thank you for being a valued member and supporting my work and uh, being here for the journey of me documenting my walk with Christ. So if you've enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, drop a comment, share it with a friend. Feel free to check out the Patreon in the description below, and we will see you in the next video.